Hello everyone, welcome back to East Coast Taekwondo. I'm Casey Mezzareski, here with another uh, training tip for you. This week we're going to go over self-defense keychain. Some people call it coupaton, there are some other names out there for it, but uh, just plain simple self-defense keychain. As you can see, all it is really is a uh, like six inch little metal aluminum rod. Sometimes they're made out of plastic, sometimes they're made out of wood. And uh, it just attaches to your keys like this. Now there's a lot of uh, techniques out there for the self-defense keychain that involve uh, like very intricate like joint manipulations and twisting the hand or the arm or getting someone in some kind of lock with one of these. And those are great, um, but you gotta practice them all the time. If you're not gonna practice them all the time, in real life when someone tries to mug you or attack you, you're not gonna be able to call upon that uh, technique effectively in a situation like that. So uh, we're just gonna go over some very simple techniques that you can use with this, that even just watching this video a few times, you would be able to, to do in real life. First uh, and simplest one is, as you can see, I have uh, keys hanging off this. This is my uh, personal keychain. I keep this on me all the time. And you can see I have a little uh, mass of keys at the end of my uh, keychain. I can just hold this and use it like a flail or almost like a, like a mini nunchuck. So if I hit someone in the face with it, as you can see, all those keys and swinging it, that's going to cause some damage. If you imagine keys hitting someone across the face and the eyes and everything, that's going to hurt a lot. Another very basic uh, way to use this tool is uh, just with a punch. If you just have it in your fist like this and try to do a punch, you now have a reinforced punch, similar to uh, if you had a roll of dimes in your hands or uh, brass knuckles, something to that nature. What you're doing now is uh, reinforcing the uh, fingers in your fist so they don't, they don't have as uh, much of a tendency to break. And also, uh, you're adding a little more heft and mass to your punch. Beyond just that, if you don't want to punch your opponent, um, so you can see the end of the uh, self-defense keychain sticks out a little bit as I'm holding it like this. I can do hammer fist strikes coming in to the vital areas, to the neck and collarbone, to the eyes, to the nose, to the ears, to the temples. If someone's trying to come up from behind me, I can go to the ribs and to the body. I can go down to his legs and attack the groin, attack the top of his kneecap, um, attack his thigh, his inner thigh, his outer thigh with this. If I'm holding it the opposite way and I have it like this, I can still jab straight in to the solar plexus, up into the throat, into the eyes, into the ears. Okay, so there's a lot of very simple, very effective ways you can use this um, that don't require a lot of uh, advanced training. Again, like I say, I carry this on me all the time. It's very easy, even though uh, it's got the uh, self-defense keychain on it. It never gets in the way. I can just drop it into my pocket. My keys sometimes might tangle up. If I don't even have pockets, I can just put it in my waistband like that. My keys are always with me. I never have to worry about losing my keys, and I always have it nearby. A few things I want to uh, just go over, a few uh, extra little teaching points of this. Let's say you have uh, one or two keys. You don't have a big mass of keys on your keychain like I do. You can augment your uh, effectiveness by using, this is just a uh, fishing sinker, a fishing weight. For, you know, if you're going fishing, you add a little weight to the line. Uh, these are come in all sorts of sizes and shapes, but as you can see, it's about the size of the key. You can get big ones, little ones, but it's got a little loop on it for tying to the fishing line. That will go right onto that key ring, and you can add a little bit more mass as you're trying to use this as a flail-type weapon to hit, uh, to hit any adversary in the face. Um, some other things I want to go over is there is a uh, there's a wide variety of self-defense keychains on the market now, especially on the internet. The internet brings us all sorts of weird and cool and interesting stuff. As you can see, this one, this is almost the same thing. It's a little aluminum. It's about the same size, but it's got a spike on the end of it. Um, there's ones that you can twist this open and it, it has a knife or a blade inside. There's ones that actually have spikes coming out 90 degrees, so when you hold it like this, spikes will come through your fingers. That's cool and great if that's what you want to get, but just know that uh, this, something like this is definitely going to uh, not be allowed in as many places as something like this. I don't know for sure, I can't tell you if it, you know, it's a chance this might get taken away at the airport, it might not. This, I can guarantee you, will get taken away at the airport or other uh, 
place that doesn't allow any kind of weapons in it. So anything with those knives or those spikes or those daggers or anything, they might look cool, but they're not very practical. You can't bring them everywhere with you. You know, you might not even be allowed to go into a, a school to pick up your kids or something like this, where this isn't going to draw as much suspicion. Also, I like this because it's just a simple little rod. So if you don't have this, I'm going to show you some things that can be improvised. A pen. You can carry a pen with you anywhere, and all the same techniques you can do, except for using it as a, as a flail. Um, if you want the spike, you can have the pen uncapped, and now you've got a spike to attack uh, your adversary. A highlighter or magic marker, same thing. You hold it in your fist. You can do everything you still need to do, attacking, attacking all those vital areas with one of these. A flashlight, and uh, I'll do a video Another video just on having a flashlight, why that's a good self-defense tip to have on you at all times, but real quick, just you can also use a flashlight to blind your adversary and then strike them. You don't need any of these fancy tactical flashlights out there that have like spikes and everything on them. Just this alone, again, striking like this, striking like this, a reinforced punch, and a lot of times flashlights will also have a little uh, key ring loop on the end to attach key rings or a little lanyard so you can also have something hanging, your keys hanging off the flashlight. That's this week's training tip at East Coast Taekwondo. If you enjoyed this video, please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you're ever in Fairfield, Connecticut, please come by and check us out at East Coast Taekwondo. Thank you very much.